The space pen myth. NASA didn't waste millions. You've probably heard this one. NASA spent millions inventing a space pen. The Soviets just used pencils. Sounds like a perfect example of bureaucratic over-engineering versus pragmatic thinking, right? Only it never happened. Both NASA and the Soviet space program used pencils at first. And both soon realized it was a bad idea. Graphite is conductive and highly flammable. Writing or sharpening the pencil produces carbon dust, which floats around in zero gravity, a serious risk for electrical shorts and onboard fires. So NASA began looking for alternatives. Enter Paul C. Fisher and his pen company. Fisher had already been working on a pressurized ink cartridge that could write upside down and in zero gravity, but the added pressure made it leak. When NASA reached out in search of a safer pen, Fisher saw an opportunity. He eventually solved the leak problem by adding a bit of resin to the ink, making it thixotropic, a gel that becomes fluid when agitated. And no, he didn't make millions off NASA. He sold the pens for $2.39 each, including a 40% discount for bulk buying. And when the Soviets heard about the space pen, they bought it too. No NASA budget, no millions, just one guy solving a problem and getting the best free marketing ever out of it.